Hello, 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 and welcome back. So today we are eating. We got some Japanese cuisine today, and we found out that this place near us has a lot of vegetarian options. We did not know this, and we were super excited. So we got soba. I've never tried soba, so this is gonna be my first time trying soba. So we have fried rice. Two things of fried rice, one for me, one for Nessa, because she's eating as well. We have this, I think it's yum yum sauce, I want to say. We have little dumpling thingies. This is dumpling soup. This is cucumber and avocado sushi. Two of those because it's my favorite thing to get from here. And then soba, Todoroki's favorite. It's not cold soba, but it's still soba nonetheless. So we're gonna try it today because I've never tried soba. So let's get into it. I think I'm gonna start with the fried rice um, just because we haven't eaten today and I want like actual food that I know is gonna, I'm scared the soba is not gonna taste good or I'm not gonna like it. So, so I should start with it first. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna try the soba first. So you open this. It, smel it smells kind of good. Um, and then you put the juice in. The juice, the water in. They split it so that way this, you know, it doesn't go everywhere. Look, me to bot, I'm shaking because I've, I haven't eaten yet today. It's not even that late. I woke up at like 11, I think. And it's like 3 p.m. now, but like I still should probably like eat like a few minutes. I wasn't even gonna eat them. And I was like, you need to. And I was like, mm, okay. Did you make a mess? I spilled the water a little bit because I'm shaking. That's, wait, this is so cool, the fact that the water is, like, sitting on top of it because it's, like, having a hard time soaking in. I just think that's so cool. Probably should taste it before <laughs> you put it in there to see if you even like the flavor of it. Ooh, I like it. I'm not gonna lie, it smells like PetSmart. I was thinking it smells like hamster cages. Okay, cool, though. Glad we're on the same page. Get some noodles, get some rice, get some, okay. Hold on, I have to hold this in my hand so that way you guys can actually see the food this time while I'm eating. I know you couldn't see last time and the whole point of mukbangs is for you to watch me eat a bunch of food. One, two, three. I feel, it's so comforting. Do you not like it? Hold on, hold on. It's, it's kind of nice. Mm-hmm. It kind of smacks. It's really good. I would like it if it was spicy. This is the dumpling soup. My camera's dying. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Which one do you like better? I think I like the, I, I don't know. I feel like, I think the dumpling soup has more flavor than the soba. I like the noodles and the soba. I like the noodles and the soba better than the dumpling too. Mm-hmm. Let me get one. This is what it looks like. Look at that. Mmm. Ready? Cheers. I can't get it. Ah. It's good. I do be smacking. It tastes like it tastes. It's just, I think it's the same dumplings that are in here. I like it. Mm -hmm. I believe they're called inari. They look like this. They have something else in them. It's vegetarian. It looks like. It could be shrimp. I don't think it is though. It's not. It's like a. Um, it's battered tofu. Mmm. It's so good. That's surprisingly yummy. I'm not a tofu person. It's all right in certain things, but I definitely just don't eat like, like eat tofu when I'm hungry. But that's really good. Mm -hmm. I think I like tofu in small quantities. Mm. It's really good. I see why Todoroki likes it. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for Mila to make me the cold soba. Cold soba at Katsu. I have to actually get ready and, and um, make her the, the hoodie. Walmart mm. should be having them back. I believe these, this is yum yum sauce. This is what yum yum sauce looks like, the one near us. Also, if you see all the band-aids on my fingers, I'm accident prone. <laughs> I ripped my fingernail off this morning on accident. I have a hangnail, and um, I cut my thumb in my last video, or in one of my last videos. So, I always put the sauce onto the fried rice. Let me see if I can get this open without spilling it on my floor. It's yum yum sauce. Ooh, look at that. Look at that drizzle. You see that drizzle? Look at that drizzle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is about to be schmacking. Schmacky, 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 schmacky. The yum yum sauce makes this rice like 20 times better. I know it's different. It's so good. I love yum yum sauce. Mmm. There's a place near us that like cooks the food in front of you. And oh my god. I only went once because it was my friend's birthday. 
I actually paid for our meal. I'm broke. That place is expensive, so I don't go. <laughs> but it's really cool. It's like an experience I never, I, it was something I'd never experienced. And I'm glad that I had the opportunity. The chef was amazing. It's not from this place. This isn't the same place. But the chef was amazing. And what he does after you eat is he'll, he'll fly like pieces of chicken at everyone and he'll hit it off his spatula and you have to try and catch it in your mouth. And so they did that to me, but I was like, no, sir, I'm vegetarian. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he turns around and he gets a lemon and he goes, are you ready? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, you're so sweet. He was so nice. He was so funny. I'm not gonna lie. I think cooks are my favorite people. I love chefs. They're usually so like goofy or like yeah. really, really uh, refined. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you get Gordon Ramsay or you get, um, what's that guy's name? Guy Fury. <laughs> Is Guy Fieri a chef or does he just I don't eat? Know. Imagine me and want to eat for a living. It's funny because Monica was a chef and she was one of my favorite characters from Friends. This is a regular sushi. This is the one that I always get. It's literally amazing. I love it so freaking much. So much. Like so much. Also, I'm not wearing makeup today because this is my homework day. But we decided to get <clears throat> Japanese cuisine. And I was like, that would make a really cool video. I know you guys would love to see me eat that. I'm also planning on doing a lot more videos because there's this kebab place. Hi, mamas. Would you like a bite? Say hi. Hi, guys. You're so cute. I love you so much. Is it good? Mm. Mama Kavali approves. I approve. It's very yummy. Look. It's it's cucumber and avocado. I love you, mamas. Mm, very good. Mama likes that. I'm also so hungry. I was editing a video. She's so like. Can you please just pick somewhere to eat? I'm starving. And I was like, mm. and she's like, we're getting Japanese food. Because I'm an indecisive one in this friendship. Friendship. Sistership. Relationship. Familial ship. I didn't respond to my Oikawa. Mila's name in my phone is Oikawa. I like how almost every single YouTube video, I'm just talking about my mutuals from TikTok. Every single one. In the pumpkin one, I talk about crazy calls. Every single video, I talk about Mila or Karis. I just love them, they're my babies. Mm. Every time I see Green stuff, what's it called? Wasabi. Every time I see wasabi, I think of that one episode of The Nanny. If you guys have not seen The Nanny, it's one of my favorite sitcoms where she eats wasabi, Fran eats wasabi, and her sinuses get cleared and she like falls off the bar. She's out with Cece. She falls off the bar and she like sits back up and she's like talking all normal and stuff, and her sinuses are cleared for like five seconds and it's, it's back. It's hilarious. I love The Nanny. If you guys haven't seen it and you're looking for a good sitcom, I definitely recommend it. It's so funny. Plus, she has a cute little love story. I have a very cute love story. Mm -hmm. It's like Chandler and Monica, but like, like they have a family already. She's taking, she's the nanny. That's why it's called the nanny. Hence that. Oh, back onto the rice. I'm very full already. Oh, oh, I'm starting to feel sick. I always eat too fast for these videos. I eat like a monster, you know? I just shove every single piece of food in my mouth that I can fit in my mouth and then that's it. The thing about Japanese food is I feel like it always fills me up really fast and then I'm always hungry, mm -hmm. like 20 minutes later. It's like I have to let it settle. <laughs> uh, I keep dropping stuff and there's this thing in Portuguese that people say in Portuguese, like that Portuguese people say, that if you drop stuff all the time, it's because somebody wants to talk to you. And I just really want to know who's trying to hit me up. <laughs> who's trying to hit my line? Also, I was thinking about this the other day. Tell me if this is a bad topic. You. Mm -hmm. Can we normalize not showing up at people's houses just because you know where they live? No one did that to me, but like, you know in high school, I used to have random people that just knew where I live and they would just show up at my house. Yeah, that's very rude. I know some people are like, oh, it's cute, they just showed up, but I hate that. It, it's very rude. I grew up in a household where if you did that, you got in trouble for inviting someone over. Even yeah, if you didn't. We would, we'd always get in trouble for that stuff when I was a kid. My dad would be like, you invited someone over? And I'd be like, no, they just literally showed up. I remember literally getting yelled at for that vividly. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that... I feel like I feel like a lot of people do that and it's not like that's happened to me recently or anything I was just thinking about it the other day because someone ringed on my doorbell and I didn't know who they were And they were just a solicitor. It's, it wasn't like a big deal But I used to have a lot of people that would just like knew where I lived So they would like show up at my house and I'm like that's not okay Like if you're really close like I get it mm -hmm. in like like for instance if it were me and you and we if for some reason We ended up not living together mm -hmm. and I showed up at your house. I feel like it's something different, oh, different. Okay. If it was like Colleen and Colleen showed up at her house yeah, but I feel like if you're not close to someone, don't just show up. Yeah, exactly. Like, sh people not are, even like, not close. Up. If you're not, like, their best friend or their family member that you were really close to, don't just show up. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's really rude. I know a lot of people have had, like, similar life experiences that I have. But would you get in trouble for, like, 
Like random people showing up at your house, like your friends, your friends from school showing up at your house. Would your parents blame you and be like you invited them over? Because that used to happen to us. I wonder if that was just an us thing. The whole point is, I just don't like solicitors. They knocked on my door about the election, and I was like, "Honey pie, I already voted. I don't know who you think you're swaying. <laughs> you ain't swaying no one." Mm -mm. By the way, I don't know what day this is going up, but if you haven't voted, please vote. Every vote counts. It's very important. I'm not a political person, but please vote. <laughs> In other news, I want to get a new camera for astro photography. If anyone that follows my Instagram knows, I'm literally obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. And all I do all day long is just... All I do all day long when I have time <laughs> is just stare at people and I do astrophotography. And so I, I, I was kind of, I was looking at this camera that I kind of want to get for it that I found on Amazon that would be like decent. I wouldn't like be able to take pictures of Mars or Jupiter or anything, but it would be able to get like better pictures of like the stars and the constellations and the moon and stuff. So thinking about getting that or maybe I'll ask for it for Christmas. I don't know. Maybe I'll splurge. Also, Ness and I are trying to fix the wish list and get that all settled because I know you guys have been asking me for literal months to get a freaking wish list and we're working on it. We have been working on it, but like we're working on it now. I also linked my Spotify in my link tree by the time this goes up, it should be linked in there. I had to make a whole new one because my other one was so a mess. So I had to make a new Spotify. Check it out, it has all my playlists that you guys always ask for. So I'm still updating them too because every time I find new music, I add it to a playlist. <gasps> You guys voted and Todoroki won. So Femme Todoroki is gonna be in the works after soon, after soon, after Halloween most likely. He will be on the way, she will be on the way. Heroes Rising is dubbed now. It's on Amazon Prime. And Ness and I did not know that, but do you know how we found out? Vanessa's boyfriend of six years watched it without us. John, this one's for you. Ba ba ba. We were so mad. We were screaming at him because, okay, listen. My Hero is his favorite anime as well as it is mine and Vanessa's. He's the reason we got into it. Yeah. Actually, for so long, he was like, you guys have to watch My Hero. You have to watch it. It's so good. And we kept brushing it off. We were like, no. I watched the first episode. I was like, that is sad, John. Like, he's just being bullied. His life is a mess. Like, no. And he was like, no, you have to watch it. Like, keep going. It's so good. And I was like, no. And then Nikki and I finally decided to push through and watch it. <laughs> And he's the reason we watched it, but still. <laughs> but the fact that he watched My Hero, Heroes Rising without us, and he saw Kachan and Deku hold hands in English before we did, makes me really mad. <laughs> and he was like, well, we can watch it again. <laughs> yeah, we saw it and wouldn't tell you. <laughs> mm. Ron's like a brother to me. I've known him since I was 14. Yeah. I've known him since I was 14. He's like a brother. You're literally, I can't believe he would betray us like that. No longer a part of the family. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we just disowned him for him. I'm sorry, we can't do this. You watch My Heroes Rising without us. So, when we get time, did you see the rice? <laughs> when we get time, we're gonna finally watch a Heroes Rising movie. Every time I think about the Heroes Rising movie, I think about this person. I read their review on Yelp about it, and they said, I literally got up in the movie theater and fainted when Katsuki and Seku held hands. <laughs> and I was like, if that ain't me, I don't know what, it, I'm gonna scream. When we were watching the OVAs, we, we watched the OVAs in complete silence and just read the subtitles. And I literally yelped like a little schoolgirl when I saw Akatsuki hanging over Deku. I know it's the little things for me, you know? I just love how much their friendship has progressed as well. I mean, I know that like the Ovas and the the heroes rising to the canon, but chapter 285 is, it's just great because like you can see their development. It's just, it warms my heart. And I'm just very excited to see them, you know. I don't want to deck you. I want to cut you. I want to oh, I want to. Yeah. I want you to touch that little diggly thing I swing in the back of my cut That's all. Thanks for coming to my video. No, I'm just kidding. I'm closing these these things up now. We we definitely did some damage. That's for damn sure. I'm trying not to get to spill. It's empty. It just has the soy soy package in there, and I don't want it to fall all over my floor. What is this? Oh, this is the soup container. This is where the water was. It's gone, obviously, because it's in the soba. We still have quite a bit of soba left. It's probably just gonna go in the fridge. We'll eat it cold, and it'll be cold soba. <laughs> don't come on. And the dumpling soup. I have to say, out of all of this, obviously the sushi is my favorite because I, I love the sushi, and I know I knew how it was gonna taste. I want to say my favorite though was probably the soba. The soba was really good. I really liked the soba. What was I yours? The rice. Yours was the I, rice. I've always loved the rice. And then the soba was my second. I like the rice. The thing is the rice gives me a stomach ache. Yeah, me too. I don't like to be in pain. And then we have this little bit of the sushi left. 
these two little things that we're gonna save because my mom will probably eat them because she took my sushi because I was done with it. And then this is all my rice that I have left. I have a, a lot of rice left, but it gives me a really bad stomach ache. So I have to throw all this in the trash before soy sauce falls on my floor. And now yum yum sauce is on my floor. I really need to like get some Stanley steamers in this bitch because I can't. <laughs> anyway, ciao. Anyway, so. Uh, Rouches. She's the mammoth, of course. So that is it for this mukbang. Mukbang. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you did, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new, then hit that subscribe button. Yeah. If Oh, if you liked videos like this, then... Comment down below what you else you want to see me eat. Also comment what you think looks the best. Oh, someone else is going to say if you could eat chicken nuggets. Oh, that is a possibility. I could eat chicken nuggets if they're spelt wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if, if they're vegetarian chicken nuggets, I would totally do that. We're almost at 10K. We're getting very, very close. I cannot believe it. So if you guys have any ideas for what you want me to do for 10K, if you guys have any ideas for what you want me to do, then let me know and I will, I will, we'll, we'll, I'll shift, sift through them and we'll figure it out together. Um, I could read something. I could eat something. I could tell you a story. I could do anything that you guys want. Um, Obviously if it's legal <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here and you're so wonderful and never ever forget that and don't ever let anybody Make you feel like you are worthless because you're not I said so you're not worthless. <laughs> I'm looking at you bitch <laughs> I love you. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one Bye